So yeah, man, back at it again. Shalom. All praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakadash. The be honest to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to the hopeful electors pushing the truth sincerity. So we're going to show you some, some wickedness that is taking place here in Babylon, man. <laughs> These creatures really got to go, man. You just sit and you watch, you observe what these Edomites are pushing towards towards the people, man. It's it's man. <laughs> it's sickening what these creatures are doing, man. It says disgusting perverts or just misunderstood. Me the Sufiles who have sex with animals and want to be embraced by pride. So you got the LGBTQ aka the alphabet community which in their pride is walking in great error against the Most High. And now you have the Sufiles, those, those for who don't know what it means to be a Sufile. Let's get that, man. This place gots to go, man. It gots to go. The Sufile. Oh, it says here it's in French. Double L. Okay, Suvilia, Sufal, Suvilia. Let me get it over here, man. Being fond of animals in general or as pets is accepted in Western society and is usually respected or tolerated. However, the word Suvilia is used to mean that they want to have intercourse. Someone who is emotionally or often sexually attracted to a non-human animal. Some Sufas go all the way and have sexual intercourse with an animal. So this madness is the next step which they're trying to legalize here in Babylon. You know, in Babylon, Babylon is, is, is the place of confusion. So this is just, this is total madness, man. And you understand that the Most High is not the author of confusion, man. The Most High created male and female, you know, to, to procreate upon this earth, man. But here you got, here you got the Edomites, the nation of Edom, a.k.a. the wicked upon this earth, pushing a vibration where they are trying to legalize, normalize this abominable act of man having sex with animals, man. This is this is sick, man. It's in the book of, uh, let's get this, man. The book of 1 Corinthians 14, verse 33. For the Most High Yahweh is not an author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. The Most High is not an not a, not a establisher of this, this madness, man. This is this is in war with the with the will of the Most High. But yet you're gonna have clowns, creatures upon this earth who got moved by demons inside of them to push these things, man. The next thing to do is to add the Z of Sufiles onto it, man. I'm not gonna read the whole article, man. The, the key the key thing is already being said, man. It says Pride Month has just come to an end. Following four weeks of global parades, a, glo a global pride, pride conducting all over the earth, man, which is hateful in the eyes of the Most High. The Most High destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah because of this, because of this, this, this abominable conduct, man. But here, here you got these creatures dedicating a whole month. A whole month is dedicated onto moving in this proud, abominable way upon this earth, man. Gay, homosexuals, queer, trans, trans, asexuals, and other marginalized communities. But one group not welcome, for the most part, is the Sufile community. Like, yo. In, in a nutshell, this comprises people who have a sexual attraction to animals, although this may not always necessarily be acted upon. The same thing as pedophilia, the same thing as how these Edomites are known for committing incest, man. It's just a matter of time before you're going to see the true, the true face, the true horns, the true colors of these people. Gradually they're moving closer and closer towards what they really are about, man. And we've been warning you about these things. We've been telling the people. We've been speaking over and over about the wickedness that they push upon this earth, man. Happy Pride.
You gotta understand, man. What, what, what are you proud about, man? They're proud in their wickedness, man. That's the spirit of an Edomite, man. They're proud, they're proud in the fact that they're warring against nature. They're warring against the Most High. That's their pride. What does the scripture speak about? Let's get that, man. People are proud. What the hell are you proud about, man? Proverbs 16 and 18. Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before fall. That pride that they have, how they walk upon this earth, is going to lead towards their destruction. It's going to lead to their demise. It doesn't matter how, how proud you can be. Your proud level can go skyrocketing all to the moon. But in the end, the most I will execute judgment according to what everybody has done upon this earth, man. To all those that have been walking in pride, all that have been, all of them that have been walking, that have been walking contrary unto the will of the Most High, they're all going to be destroyed, man. They're all going to be destroyed, man. Because the Most High is not pleased with this type of madness, man. Here, I was, I was already reading to it, man. <laughs> These people are crazy, man. It says there are also uh, uh, two other related animal loving identities those who consider themselves Tyrians and Furies. So when you when you will look up for the Furies, which is which is another another spirit that you see upon this earth, and I believe it is from Japan that that energy which comes from Japan and which is going all over the globe, man. And these Japanese, these these Ammonites, they have a very perverse. Uh, a foul mind man there's a very foul perverse morally deranged uh, spirit that is being pushed upon this earth like these are furries man and the furries the furries the furries are also in the energy of portraying themselves as animals and then having sex as animals with with, with each other that's that energy of the furries man like you if you just look at it immediately you you, you just sense a very strange a very a very uh, 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 a very off energy from when you just look at it man it's off but yet strongly promoted and 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 the sickening the sickening the even more sickening part of it is that more and more people are um, adding them onto this onto this onto this community man that's the reality so let's just leave, let's just read to this man <laughs> The former are people who feel they have a non-human element, spiritually or psychologically, while the latter have an adoration of only certain animals. There's a degree of overlap both groups and some wear animal suits and masks to celebrate their identity. Although to make the situation even more complicated, some Therians and Furies are also Sufals. You see, so it's, it's, it's merely it's merely a device to hide or to uh, uh, or, or, or to yeah to to camouflage their real intent their real desires that's how they can live it up and it's it's Esau Edom the wicked the wicked that is making it possible in this wicked empire for them to to build and to do these things man and it's our duty as the as the servants of the most high to stand and to speak out against this madness man the book of Psalms chapter 94. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Who is taking a stand against what these creatures are doing upon the earth, man? And the answer is we are taking a stand. Where you got people in the spirit of PC, political correctness, live and let live. We'll tell you, based on what is written in the Bible, what the Most High says about this wickedness and what the Most High is going to do with these people. What the Most High is going to do with anybody who sees and knows about it but yet chooses to remain quiet or to agree with this evil wickedness to stay upon this earth and to spread all over the globe. We'll let you know what the Most High is going to do with them. Because that's our purpose. We stand and we defend the truth of the Most High by any means. That's where the Most High is looking at, man. The Most High is not looking towards somebody who wants to justify and accept any form of wickedness upon this earth, man. You gotta understand that the Most High hates this wickedness, man. For the ones who wanna say, like, no, God is all about love. God will accept this. You got, you cannot judge. 
The most I have and the most I will execute his judgment upon these creatures, man. Huh. The burning that, that, that the Heavenly Father is going to unleash upon these creatures, man. And it truly shows you that people haven't learned from what the most I did unto Sodom and Gomorrah. That's what it is. They haven't learned from how the most I uh, unleashed his displeasure upon Sodom and Gomorrah and burned that, home, that whole place down to the ground. But yet you see people walking in that same energy. <laughs> Many from the tree community shun pu publicity due to the automatic assumption from outsiders that they enjoy sex with animals. Those who do engage in sexual intimacy could face criminal charges or violent represents from the public should their identity be revealed. Some contemplate suicide or have even killed themselves due to the stress of being relentlessly harassed. However, one figure in the Sufile community did agree to speak to RT. Togo is from Pennsylvania and wanted to put on record that he was contributing only because of uh, his dissatisfaction of how Sufiles are portrayed in the media. He was adamant that they cannot be excluded from pride no matter what the masses say like yo no matter what the masses say you see their pride and that's truly the spirit of pride man this is this is a sick a sick place we're living in man and anytime when you when you see uh, uh, articles like this you fully understand why the most is completely going to obliterate this place man why the nation of edom needs to be obliterated of this earth man because they justify and they not only justify, they promote this pure evil upon this earth, man. Their madness is without boundaries, man. And we have to just deal with all this facts in the spirit being surrounded by creatures like this, man. Continually upon this earth, man. And that's why we make videos where we, where we man, where you can unleash, man. With a, with a certain degree of self-control because if you really want to say what is really being builded up inside of you you would be cussing and yelling and and really man <laughs> this place is so sick man i'm telling you bro you can i will put i'll put a, the i will put the link in the description box i will just go to scriptures man let's just jump to scriptures to show you what the most i is going to do with them man the most i is going to completely destroy these people man the book of Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 12. Were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? Nay, they were not at all ashamed. Neither could they blush. Therefore shall they fall among them that fall. In the time of their visitation they shall be cast down, saith the Lord. They didn't have any form of shame when they committed this type of abomination. And this is just one of the examples. You got homosexuals, you got pedophiles, you got incest committers. You got so much madness upon this earth, man. Strong's H, 6213. I saw. I saw. Let me see if I click the right one, man. Abomination luck here. Strong's H, 8441. Toeva. Mm. Toeva. So it says, a disgusting thing, abominable, abomination in ethical sense of wickedness a homosexual a lesbian a pedophile an incest committer a sufa you name it man are mere examples of what is being pushed upon this earth and they're all striving for the acceptance the normalization of this evil man that's that's the world we're living in man that's what you get when you give when you give evil the chance to rule upon this earth. That's that's how the world will become when you when you give the ruling scepter into the hand of a people that is called the wicked, the red devils, man. Let's get this, man. Let's show let's just show you what the most high is going to do with people who commit these crimes, man. Leviticus 20 verse 15 and if a man lie with beast if a man lies with an animal has sex with an animal He shall surely be put to death and ye shall slay the beast Not only are you supposed to be putting the person to death, but you also slay the beast You slay the animal because the spirit 
the demons are also on the on the beast this this is this is deviling and corruption on a whole other level man the profanity which which is being pushed and normalized upon this earth is beyond words can express man and that's why the scripture also speaks about it in the book of revelation man her sins her sins is referring to her america the mother harlot man the sins which these people have committed and it's it's actually speaking about the power structure of america in 18 in revelation 18 is referring to america but when we speak about the dragon when we speak about Esau, edom and his whole system and the impact the mindset upon this earth so to say the image of the beast their philosophy they have committed so many crimes against the most high that their sins has reached onto heaven when we're in a time where the most high is about to unleash death angels extreme plagues upon this earth in ways which people have never seen or heard of heard of before that's why the most high showed that's why the most High already showed in the book of daniel chapter 12. and at that time shall michael stand the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people archangel michael that's the, that's the angel of war and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time and at that time thy people shall be delivered everyone that shall be found written in the book the most high is about to unleash a, a, a grievous destruction which has never occurred before so when you got people crying about the second world war when you got people being so afraid to even speak or to be confronted about the transatlantic slave trade or, or whatever thing that happened in the past the most high is letting you know what he is about to bring this time is going to surpass everything that you have ever heard and read about or seen ever in your life man the most high will show people why he is the king of terror man because those who are walking in the spirit of the most high are sick and we, we truly sick and tired of this wicked place man your anger your fury and your numbness towards this place the the numbness towards towards to the pain and the and the misery that you every time every day have to experience is causing you to be able to be in this wicked place man that's that's what really is causing us still to be standing man you, you got people that just just give themselves over onto it they wallow in it they accept it but you have those who rebel they resist they 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 fight against this wickedness man and while you fight against this wickedness you cope with all the pain with all the agony with all with all the 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 patience the long suffering which is there to build you for what is yet to come upon this earth the most ties building us satan is building the most ties using satan to build the people on the left in the system according to the system but the most ties building and preparing us according to the right might according to the right side that's that's what the most ties do it man And only once the ones who are written in the book of life they're going to be saved man that's why we continually say we hope to be part of the elect the hopeful elect because we understand that only the elect is going to be saved let's go to the book of isaiah chapter uh, 14. was it 7, 19 it's like, yeah. Isaiah 19 verse 14 the Lord had mingled up a first spirit in the midst thereof and they have caused Egypt to err and every work thereof as a drunken man staggered in his vomit the Lord the Lord gave these Edomites a spirit and it's not the spirit of righteousness it's not an upright spirit that is inside of these creatures it's a spirit it's a spirit that is actually it's it's a spirit that is contrary unto how the most high wants to see things upon this earth when the most i says when the most i says right they do left when the most i says stop they go when the most i demands holiness they push profanity and perverseness upon this earth when the most i is pushing light on this globe these people are uh, these people are causing darkness to 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 be placed in the minds and in the eyes of the people 
and they're being steered into confusion. But the Most High stands for order, they push disorder. When the Most High is standing for nature, they push all things that are warring against nature. That's why you got the whole LGBT, the alphabet community. And yet they are not afraid of what the Most High is about to bring upon this earth because they're proudful. They're proud in their wickedness. Strong's age 5773. If Eam. If Eam. Distorting, perverting, warping. That's the energy that they push upon the earth, man. You chill the children of fools, man. The basis of men being placed in the highest seat. Look at the whole earth, man. It's not only humanity that is suffering by their actions, but the whole planet. The animals are, are, are suffering. The earth is mourning. We're not even breathing a, a, a clean air. Everything, everything is dying under the rulership of Esau. Everything. But yet they're walking in their great pride. Portraying themselves as if they are the righteous. That they know how to deal with situations. That's the mind of the wicked, man. <laughs> That's the mind of the wicked. Let me get a scripture, man. The book of, uh, the book of Shirak. Sirach 15 and 13. The Lord hated all abominations and they that fear the Lord love it not. The Lord hates all these things, man. Pedophiles, homosexuals, lesbians, you know, uh, 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 sufas. The Lord hates it, man. The Lord hates it. And when you tell these people what the Most High is going to do with them. Oh, you can't say that. No, you can't say that. Immediately, you're going to hear things like that. You got people that even have children and they defend this wicked, this, this whole wicked movement is being defended. But as soon as their child falls victims to, victim to one of these creatures, now you're going to hear people cry and moan. Now all of a sudden people have things to say. Let's go to the book of, uh, the book of 2nd Ezra 15, man. It says, For wickedness, verse 6, For wickedness had exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and the hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, said the Lord, I will, hold, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things, in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Just observe the nation of Edom. Just observe what they have done onto the planet, onto people, how they corrupt the minds of people, how they have normalized homosexuality, how they bribe people in the music industry. How oh, you got that whole that whole little that little Nas X, that 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 faggot ass nigga, man. Being pushed to the forefront to, to, to do his madness, man. One of the brothers during camp was telling, the, telling me about how he, he was receiving a doggy style from Satan, like, yo. And then they won a war against the videos which we, put, which we put out where we teach our people what the Lord thinks and how the Lord feels about this profanity, this wickedness on this earth. That's what they want to remove, what they want to allow movies like, or, or, or clips or videos where you got a faggot ass nigga receiving a doggy style from Satan. This is allowed. But let's root out righteousness of this earth. Let's, let's war against the righteous. <laughs> I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. We are complaining continually, man. Every day you're being confronted with wicked, foolish creatures, man. And they're proud. They're wicked and foolish, but they're also proud, man. That really moves you like, man. You want... Hey, man. <laughs> That's a formula that really triggers anger. Like, you want, you, want, you, want to, you want to take action, man. But the Lord said, wait. 
avenge thyself, avenge not, even though the scripture is explaining about what we're supposed to do. And that shows you that we cannot live out everything that is written in the scriptures because according to the scriptures we are supposed to be putting these creatures to death. First Corinthians 6 and 13. It says, was it Second Corinthians? Or was it 14? Expedience. Oh, There's a scripture. You know, just because, just because the scripture says that we are supposed to be, oh, 6 and 12, it's lucky. Let me get it over here. Because according to the law, we're supposed to be putting them to death and also the animal, man. It says, 1 Corinthians 6 and 12, all things are lawful unto me. Everything that is written in the Bible is according to the law. But all things are not expedient, but not everything is, is beneficial, profitable to execute it right now. Why? Because... The ones who are ruling right now upon this earth, they, they, they don't care about the, Bible, the biblical law. They create their own laws and everybody needs to follow and, and abide in their laws. If you break their laws, they will judge you according to their own standards. But they give you a feeling as if they respect and they care and everything is, is according to the Bible. That's how, that's how the wicked empire is established, man. They don't care about the Bible, man. They don't care about righteousness. They don't care about the Most High. All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought unto the power of any. Meaning, just because the Most High says, according to the Bible, you need to put, you need to put these creatures to death. We're not going to execute the will of the Most High according to His law, because if you would execute it right now, you will be brought in front of a judge, and a wicked judge will judge you for the righteous, uh, righteous uh, 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 action which you have done. In the eyes of the most high you see so it's not wise it's not profitable to do certain things in this present empire so we what is it we we reflect in the spirit and we have to bear we have to bear having these creatures around you that's that's the world we're living in man and your mind is like man let this thing come to an end man let's get that man your mind is continually you're continually aiming at the ending of this wickedness man Psalm 7 verse 9, Oh, let the wickedness of a wicked come to an end, but establish the just, for the righteous power try the hearts and veins. You want this wicked thing to end, man. Every, every fiber inside of you is like, yo, how long? You, you, your mind is continually focused upon the most high, like how long? How long are these foolish creatures are going to be over us? How long and how much more? How much more? How much more do we have to deal with from these creatures until until the lord will come back but we already know we know that this thing is about the fulfillment of prophecy so we already can discern we can measure the time diligently but your mind is longing towards the most high to send his beloved son to end this madness to take to root to root out to root out this whole evil and to establish the righteous kingdom upon this earth that's our mind man not trying not trying to find a place of 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 happiness or establishment in this place man fuck that man fuck that we're warring against this place man warring against spirits and i hear the brothers already talking about <laughs> man I, I see things as well man you know dreams certain things like when you walk or certain you f you feel things you sense things man you know these entities are getting stronger man the attacks are getting stronger the brothers go to a heavier difficulty heavier moments of being tried you know and you're going to stumble you're going you're going to stumble it's not going to be that the closer we're getting to the end that you're going to be without any form of of false stumbling or or, or pain or losses or whatever man it says in the book of sirach chapter 12 verse 6 for the most high hated sinners the Most High hated sinners and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly and keep them against the mighty day of their punishment. So the Most High is against these sinners. He hates them. 
for the ones who say, yeah, God loves the sinner, but he hates the sin. The Heavenly Father hates sinners. That's what the scripture says. Anybody that speaks against that, contrary, is, is not in the spirit of the Most High. Because you got many modern day plantation Christians who say God loves sinners, but he, he hates the sin, which doesn't make any sense. A sinner is a person who is committing sin. So how can the Most High love a person who is committing sin? The Most High does not. But yet you're going to have people who lack understanding trying to convince others that the Most High loves them. You see the madness that is taking place upon this earth, man. And those who are in the Lord, let me get this, man. Those who are in the Lord hate it as well, man. You're going to hate the evil that is being pushed upon this earth, you're going to hate the mindset that people have of remaining quiet and allowing and accepting what is growing and vexing verse upon this earth, man. The book of Psalms 139 verse 19, Surely thou wilt slay the wicked, O Yahweh, depart from me therefore, ye bloody men. The Most High is going to completely slaughter these creatures, man. He's going to slaughter them because they're bloody men, you know? Not only bloody by... <laughs> Man, I don't even want to go there, man. But it's also bloody concerning the murderers, man. This is, this is a murderous, idolatry, demonic entity, a spirit that is being pushed towards the people, man. So if you remain silent, silence is violence in this case, man. Silence is an agreement with the pollution and the destruction of the minds of the young and the old, man. For they speak against the wickedly, yet they speak against the Most High. Yeah, those are the laws which were from then. We're living in a modern time. Yeah, God, God doesn't, God doesn't, uh, doesn't stay with with those laws. Those laws are from those days. Like as if the Most High is changing, man. As if the Most High changes. The Book of Malachi, chapter three, verse six: For I am the Lord; I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. The Most High doesn't change. People change. People vex verse upon this earth. People are getting prouder and prouder and more arrogant upon this earth, man. That's what you see. And when you confront them with the consequences, with the outcome of their own deeds, they want to they wanna deny the existence of the Most High. They want to make fun of you for telling them what the Most High says that He's going to do with them. That's why we just sit back. We kick back deep humility and we continue we keep doing what we have to do for the most time until the heavenly father will execute on all of these creatures what he said that he would do and when the most are executed we praise we rejoice we give in thanks and praise towards Yahweh Bashim Yashai for witnessing the, the destruction upon all our enemies who are who are glorifying and magnifying themselves in war against the will of the most high against our power man for they speak wickedly against thee and thine enemies take thy name in vain. You got people pushing, pushing a thing where you got the, 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 uh, uh, the gay Bible. Like where, man, <laughs> hey, yo, man, <laughs> where's this thing, man? <laughs> this thing, man, this, hey, this is, this, this, oh, man. These creatures, these creatures really, really, really don't fear the most high, man. They don't fear the most high, man. They don't fear what the Heavenly Father is going to do with them, their seed, with their children, with, with everything that they love, man. They don't fear. Verse 21. Do not I hate them, O Yahweh, that hate thee? Am I not grieved with those that, that rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies. Search me, O Yahweh, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there any wicked and see if there be any wicked way in me and lead me in the way of everlasting. So we know that they hate the Heavenly Father and we hate them because they hate the righteous man. When you hate the most high, you're the enemy of the most high, and you're the enemy of anybody that is in the most high. That's why we hate homosexuals, we hate pedophiles, we hate incest committers, we hate lesbians, we hate all of them who are hating our father. We hate all the enemies of righteousness and they all need to be dealt with by the Heavenly Father, man. All of them. Unless they repent. And if they are from our nation, let's say it like that, man. 
If they are from our nation and if they repent, the Most High will extend mercy unto them. If they abide in this wicked spirit, in this demonic, demonic conduct, the Most High is going to put you to death, man. The book of Proverbs 17 verse 15, He that justified the wicked, and he that condemned the just, even they both are an abomination to the Lord. This is the thing that you go and see upon the earth, man. You speak about the evil on this earth based on what is written in the scriptures. And you're going to have people who are trying to condemn you. The way how they condemn you is how they trying to justify the evil that is taking place upon this earth. By doing so, you're an abomination in the eyes of the Most High. You're hateful, you're, you're, you're foul, you're, 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 you're trying to justify the thing that the Most High hates, which makes you an enemy unto the Most High. You got to understand that a lot of people are in this energy, man. Many people are trying to speak about the Most High without even reading the scriptures, without even having obtained the mind of the Most High. As long as you're not even capable of walking in his instructions, how can you ever, how can you ever understand how he operates? People don't read and obtain and walk in the way of the Most High. So how can they even speak about the power which you don't respect? You don't, you don't know him. You don't know the Most High. But yet they lean on their own understanding. Yeah, but is God, isn't God love? God is love. The hell are people talking about, man? When the Most High will execute, you go and see who He loves. He has laws for the righteous, but He hates the wicked. His face is against the people that are doing evil upon this earth, man. And hey, many, many are the afflictions of the righteous. We, we as the righteous striving, doing what we have to do for the Most High. We go to a lot of bullshit, man. For you, for you type of creatures upon this earth, man. Who really, who really think that everything that you do is acceptable and will not be requit by the Most High. But we understand what is going to happen in the end, man. When the Most High will execute it upon His, upon His, upon His chosen, you know, uh, uh, His appointed day, the day of the Lord, where He will unleash all of it. That's when we're going to witness it, man. We're going to witness what the Lord said that He would do, man. And that's going to be a beautiful moment, man. It's going to be a beautiful moment when the wicked is going to see what we've been telling them and... It's going to be a moment when, when, when great fear is going, to, is going to kick and fall upon a lot of people that have been walking in great pride, man. That, that great pride, that whole, that, whole, that whole facade is going to be done away with, man. Pride, pride ain't going, going to bring you anywhere, man. That pride for boasting, let's get this, man. Let's get this, man. That wicked conduct from people upon this earth and the pride and the stuff that they have, the money, the, 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 the material things which the people have which they account much or, 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 or whatever they think of it, man. It's not going to save you. It's not going to prevent you from the judgment of the Most High. The amount of gold, the amount of money, your, 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 your car, your yacht, it's not going to prevent you from the judgment of the Most High. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse, uh, verse 6. Therefore, from the perspective of the wicked, have we erred from the way of truth? The many people are erring from the way of truth. You know, they are in error. Man with man, female with female, those that deny their, 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 their sex, you know, they say they, they, need, a, they need a male or female. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Hey. It says, And the light of righteousness had not shined unto us, and the sun of righteousness rose not upon us. Now, because they... They never, they never walked in it. They never, they never knew about the righteous light of the Most High. They heard about it. They saw us on the streets, you know. While we, while we were maintaining ourselves in the light, walking in light in a world that was given unto darkness, we had to, we had to go to so many, so many, so many things. That's why the scripture says, "Many are the afflictions of the righteous." You will go through things, man. We wearied ourselves in the ways of wickedness again from the perspective of the wicked. The only thing that they did was wickedness, destruction. Yea, we have gone through the desert where there lay no way, but as for the way of the Lord, we have not known it. What had pride profited us, or what good had riches with our fountain brought us? All those things passed 
away like a shadow and as posed <coughs> as the post that has that hasted by <laughs> the most high the most high has come to take out all of it man all of it no, there's nothing there's not that's in the book of first john it explains it man the book of first john 2 that's the last scripture man the last scriptures last scriptures I got two more first john it says in 15 love not the world neither the things that are in the world if any man love the world the love of the father is not in him people love this wicked empire man they can't they can't leave it behind they love it they need it they hug it they 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 won with this world they they just do an instant fusion with this wicked empire man that's why many people are going to take the jab because they want to travel because they want to go to parties because they want to go to all those things and they want to remain doing all those things which requires the jab or the testing while the most i says love not the world because the love of the world is going to be your downfall as long as you cannot detach yourself from this puny this the puny things in this world those things can lead you towards destruction for all that is in the world the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eye and the pride of life is not of the father but of the world the pride of life is not of the most high man may you got a pride gay parade on this earth it's not of the most high man the disrespect that they have towards the most high man Isaiah chapter 3 verse 9 the shoe of their countenance doth witness against them and they declare their sin as Sodom they hide it not woe unto their soul for they have rewarded evil unto themselves these people don't even hide it anymore out in the open kissing hugging squeezing just doing all their filth on this earth while the most high is looking down and beholding with great disgust while we walk on this earth with great disgust what these creatures have done now they want to push sophilia they want to legalize the act of creatures that have desired to have sex with animals it's just a matter of time before people will be confronted with this thing where they will say pedophiles are also humans and they can do anything onto it they were just created to have this desire how can we reach and how can we how can we cause them to be accepted in as well in this society as how a heterosexual is attracted onto a female that's the same way like how they are attracted onto children you already you, you can already you already know how they how they justify their evil upon this earth and how they going to bring things towards the people and you can already see the docile mind of the people as long as they got what they want well i don't care but as long as it is not getting close onto me as long as they got their own habitat their own their own puny pathetic life and they can buy stuff and they can feel they can feel a certain way about themselves then everything is accepted well everything is just vexed and worse and none and none of them none of them you can don't expect that they will rise up against the evil they don't rise up man they fusion with the evil man that's the mind that's the programming of the system man the justification of evil upon this earth man seeing it noticing it justifying it having joy in the thing that is growing upon this earth man that's why we we got that that's why we got hate against this world man that's why the most I said hate the evil we hate it man we hate this place man the book of Amos chapter 5 verse 14 seek good and not evil that ye may live and so the Lord the power of hosts shall be with you as ye have spoken hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate it may be that the Lord power of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph we hate this place man we hate the mind of people we hate the, the 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 foolishness that is coming out of people's mouth you just hate it man vehemently man you're just being surrounded by creatures just just they they everything that they get everything that they receive everything that is being kicked towards them is what they swallow they believe it they kick it and they go with it man they just run with it man and then these same people have the audacity to rise up against you when they rise they rise up against the righteous when they rise they seek to hurt the ones who are, who are fighting for the most high 
that's their spirit man truly truly the enemy of the most high man truly the enemy of the most high let's get this man second timothy chapter 3 verse 8 now as Genesis and james withstood moses so these also resist the truth so they resist the truth they resist the word of the most high many people will say like tell me the truth when we tell you the truth you get offended they bitch and moan oh you, you can't say that those are people too they bitch and moan because they are against the establishment of the most high they hate they hate the order of the most high they just want to live however they want to live oh I, if i if i want if i feel like that i'm doing it that energy lawless man lawless and without any form of order upon this earth man you correct people mm, you can talk to me in that way mm, you know you can talk to me in that that, that bitch made shit man but yet they want to abide they want to abide in that spirit of continuing in whatever the most high is hating upon this earth man you see so the most that's why the most high is going to kill he's going to put a lot of people to death upon this earth man and you just sit and i watch these things man i just sit and i watch and i'm like mm, mm -hmm. yeah i understand i fully understand and i agree i agree I want to see all these creatures who are warring against the most that also being put seen i want to see them being put to death on all kind of ways the most high the scripture man huh, they say nine to six million ways to die is the most highest many ways of putting people to death man and i want to witness all of it man george carlin said i have a front row seat he has a front row seat if if george carlin was alive in these days man huh, this man would go all out on these creatures man all out but we have that front row seat we have a front row seat concerning how these people are upon this earth what the wicked is doing how we have to cope with all this madness and what the most i said it is going to do we have that front row seat and we're not only sitting and watching we are laboring we're putting in work every time every day whether it be by videos or whether it be by praise by cursing towards this wicked place whether it be by building the minds of your brothers and sisters you stay occupied in doing what you have to do for your Hawabashim Yoshai and it's a matter of time it's a matter of time before all of this wickedness is going to be rooted out of the earth and righteousness will be established that's what's going to happen upon this earth man so do these also resist the truth man of corrupt minds they're men of corrupt minds man reprobates man May you go into the words, let's go to the word resist, man. To show you that these people truly resist. They resist the truth, man. And it's not a light thing what people are doing, man. Strong's G436. Antiste me. Antiste me. Antiste me. It says, to set oneself against, to withstand, resist, oppose. They oppose the Most High. They resist the Most High. They set themselves against the Most High. But then yet but yet they don't they don't fear they don't hate <laughs> it's crazy man it's crazy you're warring against the highest the creator the one who created the one who created the one who made it even possible that you came out of your out of your mother when your father was placed his seed inside of your mother man you're going up against the ground but yet they go they're walking in great pride yet they're walking in great pride and ignorance those those two things a deadly combination pride and ignorance and and a wicked mind that's the most deadliest combination of walking and doing things but not being not being aware of what's going to happen with you that's the nation of Edom, man proud wicked and ignorant of the fact that the most high sees and knows what you do and everything will be brought into judgment man there's a whole nation upon this earth created to walk in this way and what they do is they corrupt others as well in the same conduct the whole system is established in the hand of these creatures so what you see upon this earth is folly is buffoonery is just madness man foul and wicked behavior man and they're trying to justify it by establishing things upon this earth by the use of law the unrighteous decrees And that's why the most high is truly needed to send his son upon this earth to completely obliterate this wicked earth man because 
don't think that this this place is gonna have this this, this place is going to be joined together onto the most high man that's not going to happen man uh -uh. the book uh, the book of psalms chapter 94 verse uh, 17 or 20 shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee which frame it mischief by Allah they gathered themselves together against the souls of the righteous and condemned the innocent blood you really think that this wicked empire is going to be joined together with the empire to come upon this earth you have these clowns these friends these 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 these, these clowns man who justify the evil by establishment of the law they are justified to do anything towards what we stand for what we believe in but as soon as you speak based on what is written in the bible oh you, you're a bigot you're you're a homophobic but they have the right the freedom to portray the redeemer as a homosexual to speak evil about what the most high has ordained in the scriptures may the most high rain thunder and fire on all of these creatures man May they all, man, may they all burn in the most grievous way by how about Shimei Shai, man. And all these, all these friends who are pushing this vibration, man, like Sufals, man, may the most I take these creatures out soon, pretty speedily, man. Speedily, man. Brute beast, man, let's get that, man. Beast is what they are, man. Second Corinthians. What is it? Brute, brute beast. crazy world we're living in man crazy 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 man yeah second peter second peter chapter 2 verse 12 it says but these as natural but bees made to be taken and destroyed speak evil of things that they understand not and shall utterly perish in their own corruption many people will speak about the scriptures man but they don't understand what is written in the bible they don't respect what is written in the bible man they they look for they are looking for loopholes, man. They're looking for loopholes to justify their wicked mind, so that they can continue with their wickedness, man. That's the mind of an evil, a devil upon this earth, man. That's their mind, looking for loopholes, justifying it, continuing corrupting other people's mind in the same conduct upon this earth, man. And we have to wait upon the Lord. The most that says wait upon me let's get that man Zechariah 3 first is Zephaniah it's Zephaniah <coughs> you see and that's why it's called long suffering the waiting moment on till the Lord comes back that's that's the long suffering man Zephaniah 3 verse 8 therefore wait ye upon me say the Lord wait until the Lord comes back and we longing hey boy we're longing till the lord comes back when he comes back he will come back with fury with anger he is going to man <laughs> when the lord comes back when he comes back you just you, hey we, we, we are longing for that moment but you don't we cannot even comprehend how eagerly the lord is waiting to come back upon this earth and to take out all the evil man we are facts in the spirit but we cannot even comprehend we cannot even get close onto how Fax Yahweh Shai is right now. Waiting and seeing how these creatures, these puny mortals are conducting themselves with all their pride and their disrespect towards the Creator. Therefore wait ye on me, say the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. The Lord, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the King is coming back. And you are the prey. You are the prey. You're going to get butchered, slaughtered. You're gonna get fucked up by the most high man for my determination is to gather the nation he's going to destroy all these nations man all these nations are going to get it man even 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 amongst the nation of israel two-thirds the most high is going to root out two-thirds man but what's it the people are doing how are they conducting themselves proud arrogant acting as if nothing is going to happen with them and abiding above all abiding in wickedness and and vexing verse upon this earth that i may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon the mine indignation even all my fierce anger this will be unleashed upon all the enemies of the most high 
his indignation and all his fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Amen. It's going to be a dreadful, a dreadful day when the Lord is coming back. For you, for you so-called Christians talking about, I'm going to shake his hand, I'm going to hug him, I'm going to kiss. You ain't going to do shit, man. You're going to shit your pants. That's what you're going to do. You're going, you're going to die of fear. But you're going to see that the King of Kings, the, 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 the Redeemer of the children of Israel is coming back. That's what's going to happen with people. They're going to die of fear. They're going to freeze. They're going to be paralyzed. So, so much fear is going to overtake them. That's what's going to happen in that day. All praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, 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 